An arrest warrant has been issued for the mother from Duxbury accused of killing two of her children and injuring her baby before trying to take her own life. I-team sources say that Lindsay Clancy was struggling with postpartum psychosis. Our coverage begins with WBZ's Anna Myler. She is live in Duxbury for us this morning, Anna. Brianna Liam, Lindsay Clancy is still in the hospital, but officials say she will be arraigned on homicide charges once her health improves. People have been stopping by the family's home here in Duxbury, and as you can see, they've been leaving flowers and stuffed animals to offer their condolences. The 32-year-old is accused of strangling her three young children before trying to take her own life. When the kid's father came home Tuesday evening, he found his wife in distress outside and called nine. When police arrived, they found the kids inside. Five-year-old Cora and three-year-old Dawson did not survive. Their seven-month-old baby brother is in a hospital in Boston where he is fighting for his life. Sources tell the WBZI team that Lindsay was struggling with postpartum psychosis, a serious condition that can cause delusions and hallucinations. She was on leave from her job at Mass General Hospital. Neighbors tell WBZ they are shocked and deeply saddened by this tragedy. We would see her, the mother out in the backyard playing with the kids during the summertime. She'd always be playing with the children and um, you know everybody's in a state of disbelief. It, it is tragic. There will be a candlelight vigil at the Holy Family Church at 7 o'clock tonight to pray for the Clancy family, their loved ones, and the first responders who have been impacted by this tragedy. Reporting live in Duxbury, Anna Myler, WBZ News.